The Belize Tourism Board held its annual tourism conference today at the Biltmore Plaza in Belize City. The event, which brings together industry stakeholders and international experts on the one roof, provides a space for dialogue on the trends and markets to interests, not only the tourists, but the traveler. It serves as an opportunity to look at where the tourism industry is and where it is going. We're focusing a little bit more on some of the challenges that the industry faces. Um, there's a, a panelist speaking about the sargassum issue. Um, we have crime and security and a few others. Where are we right now in terms of the industry? Is it where it's supposed to be? We are definitely headed in the right direction. Um, last year we experienced the third consecutive year of double digit growth. Um, I think we've definitely done a really, really good job of creating that awareness of Belize. People know where Belize is, they've either, either been here, they know somebody who's been here, they have it on their bucket list to come. Um, I think our work will continue to focus now on making that conversion. You know where it is, but now we want to actually get you here. So we want to continue working towards increasing visitor arrivals, as well as increasing their time in country and their spend while here. While here. This year, the theme is destination marketing and its impact on Belize. There is a specific focus on the cultural experience in the country. One of the panel discussions was on cultural immersion trends keynote speaker was Stephanie Jones, the CEO and President of the Cultural Heritage Alliance for Tourism Incorporated, located in the U.S. She says that stakeholders must be able to distinguish the difference between a tourist and a traveler. A tourist, they typically want a more planned out experience that provides more convenience and comfort, where a traveler, they want to get on the local bus and go live it up and mix it up with the local people and have dinner with the locals and go to the countryside and explore the, the jungles or, you know, um, they want those immersive experiences. Cultural immersion is really about the people because we're all cultural beings and it's about the destination and how they go about engaging their local community assets to provide these local cultural immersion experiences to tourists when they're visiting a destination. Tourists want to have these local engagement and immersive experiences with local people. They want to be engaged in the culture through the food, through the music, through the dance, through the art, and just local exchanges because it just makes the experience so much more memorable when you're traveling and you also get to learn about a destination from a local perspective. So what kinds of programs are in place for stakeholders to ensure that the visitor experience is reflective of Belizean culture, food and the like? The Belize Tourism Board, through its Quality Assurance Department, has worked with grassroots persons and other stakeholders to make sure that the interactions with tourists are authentic and a great representation of Belize. I think we've already, we're well on our way. Um, our first speaker this morning, Stephanie Jones, um, said it herself, Belize is definitely a model for other destinations. We really honed in on the fact that one of the unique things about the destination is all of the, the culture that's per, that pervades the industry. Um, and I think now it's working towards letting not just industry stakeholders, but the general population to create a wider awareness that everybody has a role to play in um, that cultural experience for a visitor. Between Moody for News 5.